Hello everyone, today I will show you uh, what will happen if the user password expires. We have a hybrid environment which we have all created all the user accounts in the Active Directory on-premise and then we use the AD Connect to synchronize the user account to Office 365 and uh, in the Active Directory we have a group policy to you know set up the password policy like uh, the maximum password age is 42 days which means after 42 days the password will be expired and the user needs to change the password and see how we configure this one and how it works after the password expires so if we go to the Azure AD connect Then we can click next. This one we have selected the internal users OU and security groups because they all the users are in this OU. This is the users OU. And then we click next. And uh, in the optional features, we select uh, password right back, which means you know if the people change the password from Office 365, the password will be right back to the, you know, Azure AD to change the user password. Click next. So in uh, Office 365, if we go to the Azure AD, Then we click users, user settings. We see the password reset. Is uh, we have already selected all. This means all users will be will be able to reset the password from Azure AD. And also we have set up the authentication method to email and the mobile phone. We set up the notification to notify users for password we said yes and notify administrator for password we said yes. And we set on premise integration enable password right back to for sync users. So this means user will be uh, if you want to change the password, they will be able to run back to the on-premise. So this is already set up. So let's say, and also I have, if we go to the, this one is done. If we go to the domain controller, I have already added a user to the you know computer, Azure AD to the user to the uh, work group computer and user can log in. This is the Joseph Lee. Joseph Lee's user ID is created in 
Active Directory and synchronize to Office 365 after the data I just uh, add the credential to this computer and I can log in fine. So I want to log out first. Sign out. And in the domain controller, I want to set up the password expire for this user ID. I just uh, run the command. So This command will set up the Joseph password expire, force password expire, use this command, and then we click right now, and then we can just uh, check. You see the password expire is, is true now, after we I run the command, and then we want to synchronize to Office 365. So this one is synchronized to Office 365. So this uh, this computer is in work group and is also connecting can browse the internet. I just uh, I still am able to sign in to the computer file with the current password. So let's see if I go to the office.com. can sign in to with Joseph's new file so this is also working. Because this computer is not in the domain and is uh, in the work group and then I can just uh, log into Edge AD and I can log into the the Office 365 with the current password. So if I log in, you set the password.
So I log into the Office 365 with the user ID, and then I, when I click a password, it pop up like this, ask me to change the password because I already set up the password expired. This is in Google Chrome, and then I just put the old password. So I have changed the password from this portal uh, after I log into the Office 365. And then if I go back, go back, just back, log in again. So I log in. So before that, I just go to view my accounts and then I go there. Ask me to put the new password in. So I mean, so this one. If I can make a password, it asks me to put the old and new. I just can't. Because I have already changed the password, I click sign out everywhere. And then if I go to the this computer and try to sign out. If I still use the old password, I see what happens. I'm still able to log in with the old password. And then if I go to the office.com then I try to sign in now it asks me to input the password in because this password has been changed now so if I put the new password in I should be able to log in
So I'm logged into the office.com with the new password which I just changed. And then if I sign off this computer again, because the, the password I put in is the, the one I changed before I changed the password. And this, when I log into office, it asks me to input the password because of the Azure AD can't recognize the, the password you know, from, well, for me to log into the computer. So if I just uh, log off this computer, sign out, I sign back, I use the new one which I just changed. This time I put input the new password I changed before from the portal. So I can log into the computer fine. If I open the loginofficecom So I can get in directly. I don't need to input a password in again. This means the single sign-on is working after I log into the computer with the new password. So let's say if I sign out again this time. And uh, I try to log in as the old password to see if it works or not. I get an error message that the password is incorrect because I have already logged into the computer with the new password. So I need to input the new password from now on. So I can log in and uh, then if I go to the I can open office.com This all good now for the computer. Let's go back to the uh, active directory if I see because I changed the password from uh, office Azure AD. I want to see if the password has been synchronize back to the you know active directory a lot because currently it says the password expires so if i i run the ad sync first so ad sync is runs and then i try to run the user to see what happened for the user password. So we see this one, you see the password expires changed to false now. This means the what we did to change the password has been written back written back to the active directory on premise and also it shows the password ex has been changed. This is the time what which I did from the you know the uh, Google Chrome website. So it's all working fine now. Thank you, that's all for today, sir.